hectic day on the first day of the DNC outside the arena leads to the arrest of several protesters. And this happened when some breached a fence entering a security perimeter, that outer perimeter, inching closer to the UC. Our Darius Johnson live where it all happened. And Darius, you've been watching as more security is added this morning as a result of what we saw. Audrina, good morning. Yes, as soon as things took a turn, that's when they knew they had to do something more. John is going to pan out a little bit just so we can show you what's taking place this morning. Since we arrived around four o'clock this morning, crews have been behind the secure perimeter, adding additional fencing. Now, let me walk you through a little bit how this happened. Protesters were on their route about a block north and they made their way down to this secure perimeter. They essentially came here and started to remove a fence, whether it was protesters or agitators, to try to get close to the United Center where the convention is taking place. And at that point, Chicago's top cop was left on high alert saying this couldn't happen. Take a listen. They breached the fence. They breached the fence. They got into the outer perimeter. Um, they were trying to get into the inner perimeter. Hundreds, possibly a thousand, march from Union Park to the United Center. Those marching are part of the 270 organizations that make up the coalition to march on the DNC. Their goal was to make their voices heard to those inside the United Center on night one of the convention. It was peaceful until some started to physically remove fencing that was meant to secure the area. They were met by police, leading to several arrests. We spoke to some who were arrested and released just last night. They say they were not a part of the group that breached this area. The cops surround us like we're FBI's most wanted. Basically what happened, we, we were not doing anything walking back to the protest. Um, and they just surrounded us, they threw cuffs on us, and uh, they didn't tell us our charges, and they just drove us to the police station. We sat there for five hours, they didn't tell us a thing. We know Chicago police, along with the Office of Emergency Management, are set to hold a joint press conference later on this morning. That's where they will address any security and safety concerns. They will also go into further detail about the number of arrests. Again, we know some of these people were arrested for criminal trespassing. Superintendent Larry Snelling said last night that they needed to reassess this situation. Clearly, that's what they're doing right now by adding more fencing. Coming up in the next hour, you will hear from more of those protesters and hear more from Superintendent Snelling. We're live on the near west side this morning. I'm Darius Johnson, Dana and Audrina back to you at UC.